Hey there, my name is Ali and welcome to the fifth episode of my beginner's tutorial from zero to hero. Today, we're gonna discuss another selection tool, which is the pen tool. If you do, haven't watched my other tutorials, like make sure you watch them to make sure you're like going along with us. Okay, we're going through the pen tool. The pen tool shortcut is P. So by just pressing P, I will be on my pen tool. Okay. Why the pen tool and what's like really amazing about the pen tool? It's the best free form selection tool in Photoshop. Okay, how the pen tool works is if you press a click, it will add a point. You press a click, it adds another, 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 another. Then you can close it out. However, this is exactly the same as the polygonal lasso tool. We could like keep pressing clicks and just close the selection out. But the difference is in the pen tool, when you press your first click, and if you press the second click and you hold click and do not let go, you can start creating curves and playing around with like what it's called handles. You can play around with these. These are like steering wheels. You can steer along to make the curves look exactly like you want. And then you can close it back. Okay, we're going to go into details. To get rid of like a selection, what I like to do, I press escape two times. Escape, escape. Okay. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna write a letter A with the pen tool maybe, or no, let's try the letter B. So I'm gonna add my first point here, and then I wanna add another point in a straight line, but I don't exactly know where the straight line is. So if you hold shift and you press a click, it will, even if I press clicked here, it made it like a straight line. Now I'm gonna hold click here, and in the middle exactly, and I'm just gonna pull like that, until I make like some sort of a curve. Okay, now the next point I want it to be here. Like the rest of the curve. Or maybe I want it to be here. Something like that. But then we had a problem. Okay, the thing is when you draw a curve it adds two handles. One of them is related to the point before. And one of them will affect the point after. So I need to get rid of this one which is affecting my after point. So to move any of these like handles on its own, just hold the Alt or Option key. It will change like from a pen to a selection. Now you can play with this point alone and then you can play with this point alone. So we need to get rid of this point. So you either pull it until it's gone or another easier way is holding Alt and pressing click on the point itself. It will remove the next one. Okay, now we can stand here. You see it makes a circle. That means the, like the path is closed. I'm going to hold click and just draw the other side of the B. Okay, and now we have like our B made. Okay, now what we need to do is, let's say I wanted to add another point here. So if you, you make sure that the auto add and delete is added up there. Let's say I wanted to add a point here, so if you stand on anywhere in the path, you will see it's the plus sign. So you press click, it added a point with two handles. To get rid of the handles, just press Alt and click, we got rid of them. To move the point separately, just hold Control. You see the mouse changed, now you can move this point. Okay, let's say I want this to be some sort of a curve. I want to add handles, but I already deleted my handles. So what I want to do is I'm going to hold Alt and press click and pull. So now it added two handles. I can make them the way I want. But now the two handles are linked together. When I move, they move together. I want to move only one of them, for example. So I'll just leave. Okay, one thing before I do it. If you hold Shift, it will be in a straight line or 45 degrees. This is like a rule in Photoshop. Holding Shift will make it in a straight line. Okay, now I made it like that. I'm gonna leave Alt so I can control, sorry. I'm gonna leave Alt so I can control like everything on its own. When I leave Alt, I wanna control only one point. If you press control and you move, you're moving them both together. I'm gonna press control Z. Now I wanna move only one. That's where the Alt button come in place. I'm gonna press Alt and I'm gonna move only one of them, something like that. Okay. Now let's say if you make it shorter, actually the, the, like the arc is going to be smaller. You make it taller, the arc is going to be stronger. Okay, now I created this some sort of a shape. Now what I, like, what's the point of creating it? Okay, 
The thing is, if you press right click while on the pen tool, you will get like a variety of options. The first one we're gonna like explain is make selection. This, by pressing it, he will ask you the feather. We like, we explained what is feather in like the second or third uh, episode of this uh, tutorials. So you make sure you check it out if you don't know the feather. For now, we will make it zero so we don't feather our selection and press OK. Now it made a selection out of our path. I'm gonna press Ctrl and Z. Okay, another thing we could do is right click. There is something called fill path and stroke path. The stroke path, what it will do is, we it will tell you like how we wanna stroke it. I'll tell him the brush, press okay. Our brush is too big. We're gonna like discuss the brush alone in a separate tutorial. Don't get confused with that. But just keep in mind that you can stroke the line with anything you want. Okay, the last thing is, you remember the foreground and background color from the third episode? The foreground color, let's say we made it blue. I press right click, there is something called fill path. Okay, now I pressed fill path. It will ask me how you want to fill it, which with, with what content. I'll make sure it's foreground color. So I color with the foreground color or I can use like the background color or any color I want. For now, I'm going to use the foreground color, which is the blue. If I press OK it will automatically draw this for me. Okay, one more thing is, let's say I want this, let's press Control Z. Okay, we get rid of it. I press right click. There is something here, which is the free transform path. If you click on that, you remember the Control T we used to do to like move objects around, make them like rotate them, make it bigger, make it smaller. We can actually play around with our path to make it like bigger and smaller. Let's say I wanted to add a point to up my path. I can add around with it, play around with it like that. Okay. I can like add a point. Remember holding alt will like add two, uh, two like handles. So you can like rotate it around. Click here, add a point, hold alt, click around. Let's say I want to get rid of this point. If you just stand on it, a small minus will appear. Just click. You got rid of that point. Okay, let's put that to action. I like like just like using it. Okay, we have here two layers. The first one is the mug and the one behind is the carpet. I want to get rid of like this one. I want to draw around the mug only. Okay, the first thing is I'm going to add my first point here. Then the second point, I'm going to put it here and I'm going to drag. I'm going to hold shift while dragging. So I go in a straight line. It's okay, the best thing around the pen tool is that if you didn't make it, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make it perfect actually, I'm going to make it something like that. It's totally fine, it's okay. Okay, now for the next point, I don't want that handle. I only want like one handle, which is the point below. So I'm going to press Alt and click. It will remove that one. Now I'm going to press here, click. Hold Shift to go in a straight line. Then I'm going to press Alt and click to get rid of the other handle. Click here, hold Shift and pull. Even if it's not perfect, it's okay. Alt click, shift and pull. You see it's closing the selection for me. Okay. Now in order, now we closed like everything to get to like, I need to fix it. So I'm going to press alt and click here. No, wait, alt and click on the handle itself. And now I can play around with it to make it match my uh, like plate. On that one, I'm going to press alt and click on it and play with the plate. You know, you see here, I can't find the handle. And to find it, just press Control and click. It will show you the handle. Or what I did before was I pressed Alt and click. It deleted the handle, then I pressed Control and Z, so it got it back. So now I'm gonna like, I wanna fix that handle. Just move it around till it's good. Okay, now we made our selection. This one is a little bit too far. Control, click, then Alt. Move the handle until it's perfect. Okay, now I can either press the selection or just right click. Make selection. It will tell me the feather. I'll make it zero. Okay, now I selected the mug. If I press backspace, it will delete the mug, but I want to keep the mug and delete the rest of the photo. To do this, just stand in any of the selection tools we have any one of the three and just press right click anywhere. You will find something called select inverse you click it 
it will invert your selection now if you press backspace you deleted the opposite and now to deselect this press ctrl d we deselected it now we have our mug here you remember pressing ctrl t will open the free transform we can make it bigger or smaller and we're done okay the last thing about the pen tool let's say i drew something like that for example a heart or something just any shape and i want to save that shape actually so you can press right click and there is something called define custom shape you click on it let's call this shape heart and press enter okay now i want to get rid of the like the path i'll press escape escape okay now to find the shape we define there is here something called the shapes you have one of them called custom shape tool in the custom shape tool you have some like presets originally built in and we have here the last one is the heart we can just immediately draw it but then it's like this is the shape tools we're gonna go through them like in a different tutorial this one is only about the pen tool okay this pen tool we like to like summarize what we said why the pen tool the pen tool is so great because like you can cut objects i'll show you one thing actually print screen okay now i got this photo from my desktop okay i have this path i'll delete it okay i got that photo the great thing about the pen tool is that it's the best to cut people i use it always to cut people if i want to cut something like that just hold click and just pull Press Alt click to get rid of the other uh, handle. Control click, Alt click to get rid of the other handle. Control click, uh, just like click and pull, sorry. Alt click, just like make an, a lot of points. And for example, if you made a mistake like that, you can always press Control and move your point. You can add actually a lot of points and move them around. You can minus points. This one, I don't want it. I'll just stand on it, press click. Okay, so the pen tool is the best way like to make selections and after you're done with your selection, for example, just right click as we said, make selection. Okay, and now we have selection of this. If you want to keep this and delete the rest, if I delete, I deleted this. Let's get rid of these. If I delete, I deleted this. But if you, if you want to keep it and get rid of the rest, right click, select inverse and delete the rest. This is the best way to cut people and like hard objects okay that's it for today's tutorial the next tutorial we're gonna discuss the custom shapes make sure you watch that i'll see you the next time thank you